All right, we got today in the mail, we got the Predator Tools and I got the Ranger 65. So I, I purchased this, it wasn't a gift or anything from Ranger or from uh, Predator Tools, uh, but they make tools that are based in uh, US. So this is all made US uh, steel, everything. So I thought I'd unpackage it so you can see it uh, live coming out. So let's uh, cut this open here. Shovel. Looks like a patching and slip. So I got a, a card from them. It looks like I got a uh, Predator tool pen. That's pretty nice. Uh, so this is the the shovel. It's all uh, hollow tube, uh, has nice uh, welds. I'll get some close-up pictures of everything. It's a double serrated. I think it's, uh, uh, I'll have the dimensions and everything uh, down in the description. Uh, it is a D handle, uh, has uh, holes here, which I did get. I got uh, foot pegs, so I'll get them screwed on. So they, they fit uh, they fit down on top here. So you get to have a little bit of and they're rubber on the top, so that'll give me a nice uh, position to put my foot uh, when I'm digging. Um, like I said, it had it's marked here, uh, Predator Tool. Uh, U.S. made. Uh, it's not real, real. I think it was came in right under uh, three, three pounds. So uh, tomorrow I'm going with Bill, and uh, we're gonna go to the permission that he has, and I'm gonna give her a try. So, um, but I wanted to do an un unveiling tonight on it. So it. Uh, it's got good reviews. I've seen other people on YouTube using it. And uh, I did have a... Uh, on some of my other videos, you'll see I have my uh, shovel. That's a uh, Lowe's brand. And it's fiberglass. And I'm actually digging in it. And I've, I've sort of started to hear it cracking. So I haven't broke it yet. But on some of the ground and trying to get... Uh, especially when it's been dry here and and just digging uh i've actually heard the fiberglass start to to break so before that breaks off and then i'm out of shovel i decided to get this this should be pretty small that i can you know get an attachment on my back and uh carry it in it's it's not too heavy either that i can't uh basically carry it all day and uh this thing should cut through the roots. It should uh, make a nice hole. And uh, I'm happy to try it out tomorrow. So we will see me using this uh, tomorrow. I'm going to try it out. So future videos uh, when I'm out uh, relic hunting and uh, er areas that I can use it. I probably I don't think I'll use this in a someone's yard uh, but we'll see i uh, have to give it a try tomorrow and see what it's all about but uh, anyway it's uh don't have any uh connections with predator tool but i wanted to do a video because i've been trying to start uh trying to buy stuff that's made in the united states so i wanted to give them uh basically a, a recommendation and if you're gonna get a shovel 
and you want to get in the US uh, Predator tools like I said I'll have everything in the description which it's the Ranger 65 they make a whole bunch of different ones uh, they also make uh, uh, sh hand, sh hand uh, shovels so I'll have their website and all the information below in the description so I'll get this put together tonight and we'll be going out tomorrow so uh, thanks for watching please like and subscribe all right i'm uh back from that hunt uh i'm actually back from the beach i didn't get time to to do the predator uh tool review that day on the shovel but uh i can tell you i did i did really like that uh ranger 65 it's the perfect uh height for me i'm five seven and it was it was just spot on uh, for me to lift my foot up and get it right on to the those rubber uh, pegs and uh, start digging. Uh, Bill's permission is, I mean, a great place to try it out because it is a mix of uh, fill, uh, rocky ground, and then the one section is you you would think it was uh laid in uh sod um you know for for like a football field or a groom groomed uh yard i mean it, it's it's perfect ground uh it did a great job on all those different things it, it did a great job i also took it in the stream and uh i was able to to use it you know to pry rocks up and uh actually in the stream it with the with the d handle it was really really nice uh because i could use it as a brace uh and uh because you can't really brace yourself with the metal detector in the stream so i actually used it as a as a nice brace uh when i was um walking you know down down the stream that's on the property uh i can't really say anything uh bad about it it it, it just did a, a great job i'm so glad that i i purchased it uh if you're mal detecting and you need a a shovel i would i would definitely go i've never used a t-handle so i i don't know how that is but that d-handle i mean it, it worked it worked great i was able to get my hands on both sides of the d and actually you know pry um pretty big rocks uh out with it uh and it it, it didn't it cut down through roots uh it, it just uh performed very well uh so um thanks predator tool for designing such a great shovel because uh i'm very happy with it also um the it wasn't too heavy i didn't get tired of carrying it all day so um we were out for five hours and uh i didn't feel that that it was uh you know weighing me down or anything i still am gonna make something that i can sort of strap it to me so uh bill's permission it's it's pretty close from where you park to where you can start detecting so but some of the permissions we've had uh, we got to walk like a mile, mile and a half to get into where we're at. So I'm going to definitely make some kind of strap system uh, so I can carry it on my back and, you know, swing it around, uh, which I'll, I'll, you'll see me on videos uh, when I get that completed. So, but anyway, uh, again, I, I like the shovel. I can't say anything bad about it. It, it did its 
it's did its job and uh, it uh, worked great so all right thanks for watching uh, this review please like and subscribe all right see you on the next hunt